Hello everyone and welcome back with another SPS video and today we're back on Arc of SPS, one of the biggest and most hyper private servers out there and today ladies and gentlemen we are going to continue our Road to Completion Escape series. I'm very excited, it's going really well as we can see right here. We've completed all the easy, medium, hard ones and we are more than 50% completed with elite ones so the hype is real. First things first, the giveaway is going to be a $10 scroll as well, three mystery boxes to one lucky winner. All you have to do for that is like the video, comment, check your name down below, and be subscribed to my channel. If you guys never checked on iCurf, make sure to do so. Currently off peak, 400 plus people online, peak around 700 every single day, so make sure you be joining with the links down below. And I would say, let's get right into the video. As per usual, we're going to be starting with some town board tiles. Today, we're going to get level 80, so that's super freaking nice. Town board is a daily tile system which resetting every eight hours you guys can go and complete a variety of different tiles to get yourself levels when you guys unlock a certain level you guys will be getting some custom packs for your account so each five levels as you can see right there so the next one is that one we're going to be unlocking today so i'm super excited about that one and also you guys will be getting points which you guys can exchange for some lovely items as well as you can see in this beautiful exchange right here and yeah the first task we're going to go ahead and complete is i don't even mind Whatever we first ask completed. Let's freaking get it, boys. Oh, we are 2.5k away. Freaking love it. Uh, let's go for the next one. Let's fish some lovely raw dark crabs. Okay. Dark crabs completed. Let's do one more top. It's probably gonna be Abyssal Demons. I kind of see me doing this one tomorrow's anyway. Craft deliver 170. Wow, that's a freaking challenging one. But you guys see the XP is not too crazy, so. Um, we'll go for that one. Let's kill some Abbey Demons, boys. Probably the best place to go is in the current. Or if you guys can go ahead and have an L Slayer task on instance. Hey, we always the best. So, yeah, next time task has been completed. That should be level 80 right here, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, it is. Super nice. Drop rate boost number 4 has been completed. Absolute amazing. So, we're going to be receiving 2% plus global drop rate boost. Applies to majority of monsters and stacks with other drop rate bonuses, hopefully. We're going to get a little bit more speed from now on. I really do hope so. Next one is level 85. We're going to be hunting. That is absolute beautiful. 20 minutes. We're going to be getting new tasks. Let's go. And we're going to be checking out some lovely achievements that we're going to be farming right now on the Elite Woods. Let's go ahead and kill some Tormented Demons. 20 right now. Let's go for like 10 kills. Let's go. Hey, there we go. Collect your lock drop right here. Ruined Dragon Armor. Oh, wait, I want to know the drop rate for that one. I think that's actually a pretty high drop right there. So you can always right click and check out the loot up on the right hand side. That is, ladies and gentlemen, 1 in 141. Yeah. No, actually, 1 in 160. Dragon Claws is at 1 in 237. And the pet 1 in 1.6k. All right. Let's keep going. 30 kills coming in right there. Absolutely beautiful. I think that's enough for now. Maybe we'll come back later on in the episode. I don't know. But spent like 25, 30 minutes of that. These kills just. Taking so freaking long, and I, I just hate to mend the demons, bro. Next, we're gonna go ahead and kill Arzin, the daily boss. Can definitely recommend to kill it every single day. Bring two attack styles, and then you guys should be all right. It's a very nice cave. He's dropping some really cool things as well. So, I, whenever you guys see his attack style, that's what he's gonna be. So, the way he's gonna be faced, the color of his skin is what the, he's gonna be attacking at you with. So, the red one is melee. If he's gonna be changing into green, it's gonna be range attacks, and blue, obviously, magic. There we go. He just changed to range and uh, he looks very nice. Also, the animation, everything super clean. And final attack style the mage one right here when he turns into blue. Super cool as well. And Arzin is dead. Ooh. Bonus scroll nightmare. I'll take that one. And also, of course, the beautiful vote tokens, which we have to collect anyway, that we want to be spending for an elite achievements where we have to spend like 100 in total. So that's actually very cool as well. Next up, we're going to go ahead and do some barrel grind. Some serious one. I don't know if we're going to do 25 in total, but I definitely want to do a bunch of them. And uh, yeah, let's go. In total, we need to loot 25. All right, first completion took me way longer than expected. I don't know why. We got a unique one, though. Carol's Cross by. That's actually very nice. And the shit is actually on the floor right there. And uh, yeah, we're going to do in total. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, probably a bunch, though. All right, next location right there. We get another freaking unique one. What is going on, boys? What is going on? I freaking love it. Uh, right, so that was completion number nine, I guess. Let's keep going. All right, Xanfer is spawning right now, actually. We have to try our luck to get 300 damage in. Oh, God, it's already started. Can I even go in? Oh, you're too late. Oh, my God, I missed by one second. So that is a boss that is a glow boss that is spawning every couple hours, I believe. I'm not even too sure. And if we manage to get over 300 damage, that is an elite achievement, boys. But unfortunately, yeah. 
I missed it by literally a second. Yeah, receive loot from Xanfor. There we go. I'll get it in the next episode or in a couple of hours. And we're going back to the Barrow's Grind. All right, next one right here. Let's go. Let's open the next chest. And uh, we got nothing. That is... You've looted a total of six chests. Wait, six? I thought we had more than that, actually. Six Barrow's chests. Okay, let's go for four more so we can let, like, the ten, the clean number. Next chest has been looted as well. We get another unique one. Wow, that's actually impressive. It's actually impressive how many unique ones we're getting. If you don't have inventory space, they go to the floor, they actually go to zero. So kind of make sure to have a little bit of space, which is a little bit of me not having. But anyway, uh, that was lutation number seven. And here we go, next completion, number nine. Wait, you can re-roll it? What the fuck? You don't have any re Oh, okay, okay, okay. You need to have re-rolled spins with you to be able to re-roll. That's interesting. Right, so that was opening number eight. Two more boys, let's go. All right, here we go, completion number nine. Good luck to the boys. And we don't get freaking shit. All right, final kill right here. Thank the Lord. And, and now we're going to be opening the lovely chest right here. Let's see what we're going to be getting. And that's pretty much nothing. But we completed 10 chests. I'm really happy about that. And uh, yeah, we need to go for another 15 in total. Which we're going to be doing in the next episode. So into some dungeoning right here. We're going to do a large run. I need to do that for an elite achievement. And also... We need to get 120 Dungeoneering, so I, that kind of sucks, to be honest, because I'm only 112, and, um, yeah. Let's go and do this large one right here for the achievement now. Alright, here we go, achievement completed, thank the lord. This run was so fast, oh god, thank the lord, <laughs> swear to god. That huge shout out to Mr. Spare right here, I really do appreciate it, and we should get a full level for that one as well. Damn, we've got 2.8 million XP for that one. And uh, that's actually not bad. I think we might have double XP though, double maybe for the weekend. I'm not too sure. But yeah, this is super nice. Oh so, yeah, we need to run 120 in Dungeoneering. That is not too shabby, honestly. And yeah, we gotta keep... Okay, let's go ahead and catch some penguins right there. That's also an elite achievement. Uh, I have just collected one of the Donizon, which I always know there is one. 21 or 35. Let's see if we can catch a couple more. Next penguin spot right here, the ZMI Altar. Very nice. Let's go ahead and... Get this one as well. Chaka Laka. Easy peasy. There we go. At the Port Sarum, we find the next penguin. Next one, Ty Woodcutting has been spotted. And the next one, been found at Arden. And the next one has been spotted right here at the Mining Varric Place. Absolute beautiful. Next one, Katha B right here a little bit west. The bad boy. And I think that's number 30 already. That's super, super fucking nice. Actually, no, 27 or 35. So another 8 to go. And I think the final one for today, right here at Alcaret. Huge shout out to Sparrow for helping me out right here. And um, yeah, that is that is in total 20, 28 out of 35. So not bad at all. Not bad at all. I freaking love it. A really cool thing right here is we can go out and buy this XP less for the points of penguins. So that's actually very nice. And we can actually go out and rub them on, of course, Dungeoneering. I'm not sure how much XP they're going to be giving us. 160k each. So that's actually pretty neat. I don't know if it has something to do with the... Uh, weekend right now, but that is actually some free XP right there So let's go ahead and use all of them and see how far we gonna go dungeoneering wise All right, we used all the lamps and we've got not a single level, but almost 114 I guess but that was really a pain in the end. time to donate hundred million to the will achievement Completed that fucking hurts. We are we got 890 mil left but that is 33 out of 58 completed, which is super fucking amazing as well. What I'm going to do right now while editing the video is I'm going to go and sit AFK at the NPC farming. Because, uh, yeah, that's what we need to do as well, which is uh, kill, what, 10,000 NPCs in total. But actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and complete a couple more. Tombo top. Alrighty, raw rocks. We catch way too many, but whatever. That one is completed. Magic locks, next one. Alrighty, light 29, fire magic locks, completed as well. Not too shabby, final wood, rain bars. And final achievement, completed right there. I always forget to bring the rain bars with me though, fuck me. There we go, chakalaka, very nice. Almost 81, which is pretty fucking awesome. And yeah, as I said before, I'm gonna go ahead and do some AFK farming now. We gotta get the NPC kills out of the way, because that achievement is actually not too hard. It's just taking a bit of time. We need to kill another 2,600 NPCs. The best to do for that one is grab yourself major cannon and just go into the beautiful summoning spot that's how i'm doing it and uh, yeah that's pretty freaking efficient oh and also make sure to be bringing an imp with you because imps are freaking op they're gonna be collecting all the beautiful jumps for you so in case you guys want to go for like a 200 mil skill whatever you can try to do it with some and i think that's also a perfect spot for the outro right here hope you enjoyed this brand new episode right here very important achievements out of the way huge shout out to mr sparrow as well 
kind of annoying achievements that we are going to be completing next episode, which I'm so freaking looking forward to. Barrows, as well as the Tomato Demon Woods. Terrible freaking task. And uh, yeah, after that, we don't have that much left, to be honest. 20 tiles something, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. If you guys want to do the giveaway, smash the like button, comment, check your names down below, and be subscribed to my channel. I'll see you all online. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a good one, and peace.